Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. If you're the kind of person that likes to set fire to your money, then the gem tang might just be the fish for you. Those of you that saw my last video will know that I recently came across the best deal of my life, and swapped just 20 frags for a gem tang. Therefore this feels like the appropriate video to be making this week. Before we start the video though, I just want to give you a quick update on my website, which I'll be selling frags from. It'll be opening within the next two weeks, so if you're from the UK, why not head over to www.prestigereef.co.uk and sign up to the newsletter. A link can be found in the description box below. Anyway, back to today's video. These fish are easy to recognise with a black background adorned with white speckles, complete with a yellow tail. Looking like they have a severe case of white spot, the gem tang is legendary amongst aquarists, and until as recently as a few years ago, very few hobbyists in the UK had even seen one in the flesh. Fortunately, these days they're becoming more widely available. Despite this, the UK price tag is still a somewhat eye-watering £1,300. This is what has put this fish in the Hall of Legends, where it sits right next to its cousin, the slightly cheaper black tang. Their price is inflated for several reasons, but it's mainly due to the fact that they're only collected around the island of Mauritius. They are seasonal and generally considered solitary, which means they aren't easy to find, and when you do find one, it's usually by itself. Due to the fact that Mauritius is an island with no direct flights to the biggest aquarium markets, the fish are often bagged up, put on a plane, unpacked at a holding facility, and then re-bagged, to then be put on another plane before they get to their final destination country. All this costs money and pushes up the shipping costs. Something else to consider is that the person that collects these doesn't only sell gem tanks, so a wholesaler has to buy other, more commonly available fish from the same collector, which are often more expensive than where they can get elsewhere. Just because the wholesaler has to pay more money doesn't mean they can pass that cost on to the next person in the supply chain, so they will end up losing money on the common fish, but their losses are then recovered when they sell the gem tang. It also comes down to supply and demand, and any scarce resource which also has a huge demand will always push up the price. Fortunately, considering their price tag, their care requirements don't differ greatly from many other zebrazoma tangs, and they're actually pretty hardy fish. All you need to do is provide them with clean water, a nutritious algae-based diet, and suitable tank mates. If you can tick off all those boxes, you're off to a good start. Although I'm happy to mix multiple tanks in an aquarium, to protect your investment from accidental death due to aggression, it might be wise to cross any other tangs or aggressive fish off your list of potential tank mates. For this exact reason, mine won't be going in my main display tank. Don't get me wrong, they're the same as any Zebrazoma tank. They can be little terrors, who are more than capable of holding their own in the aquarium hierarchy. Their cost just means if something does go wrong, it hurts a lot more. An unexpected side effect of owning this fish is the anxiety that comes with it. I know that if it dies, it's unlikely I'll ever own one again. This means the stakes are much higher, and because of this, she'll be getting her own tank. Those of you that follow my Facebook and Instagram will know that I'm setting up another tank, which I'll be revealing around August, and I'm hoping to turn into something quite special, so why not subscribe to the channel now so you don't miss out? So in answer to the question, do you really want a gem tank? If you can afford the initial cost, are happy to keep a fish which may restrict what else you can keep with it, and can tolerate a permanent sense of impending doom, then I say go for it. Having a fish which is this prestigious fills me with a little bit of happiness every time I see her. I hope you enjoy watching my video, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good week and I'll see you next time. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you to the people that support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of what you do with regards to keeping this channel going. You've all been brilliant. Thank you.